Hey everyone, I'm Asha. Welcome to the Girl Talk HQ Weekly Wrap Up. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I'm so excited that you've tuned in because this channel and my blog, girltalkhq.com, is all about spreading positive, inspiring, and empowering messages, and it's all about placing value upon womanhood. Today's topic is called Yes all women. On May 23rd, a young man by the name of Elliot Rogers shot and killed seven people in the Santa Barbara area. They're all college students at the University of Santa Barbara and he himself was killed eventually. This young boy, who was also a college student, suffered from Asperger's and he was specifically targeting the two women that he shot. They were sorority girls. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is because there's been a trending hashtag on Twitter called Yes All Women ever since this shooting happened. And I wanna make this video about this hashtag. I don't want it to be about the killer. The reason why two sorority girls were killed by Elliot was because he had some sort of vendetta against women. In fact, he used to post a lot of videos online and the last video he posted before going on this rampage was called Retribution. And it basically detailed how he was gonna get back at the sorority girls at the University of Santa Barbara who didn't want to sleep with him. The thing about Elliot that most people may not know or that the media chooses to omit from the news stories that they put out is that he was very anti-women. He was part of an anti-women online community called PUAHate.com and that basically stands for PickupArtistHate.com. Obviously there's issues of gun control related to this news story. I'm not even going to go into that. This video is all about gender violence because let's face it, that's what this is. I mean, if he's putting out videos and posts online saying he's targeting women, how can the media say this has nothing to do with gender violence? You know, there's something wrong with our society when a young man thinks that the only logical step to combating rejection is to kill someone. No, all men are not killers. Yes, all women have experienced some sort of gender discrimination, gender violence, sexual assault, sexual violence, sexism, misogyny. Think about all the women that you know in your life. Think about some of the stories that they've told about men who've tried to hit on them or pick them up and when women don't reciprocate, they get called a slut or a bitch or a whore. Now that's what Yes All Women is all about. I feel like social media has really taken the reins on this one and said to the media and society, hang on a minute, you've got it all wrong. We need to talk about what's really happening out there. I mean, if Elliot Rogers was still alive, he'd be saying on all the news channels, yes, I was targeting women. The reason why I think this story is really crazy is because a young man in America kills a couple of girls because he feels that they didn't reciprocate his sexual advances. How is that different to men in India and Pakistan who throw acid on women because they did the same? Case in point, a young woman by the name of Lakshmi from India, she's 24 years old, and this year she was awarded the International Woman of Courage Award by the US Department of State. She was presented the award by Michelle Obama. When she was 16, Lakshmi had a family friend, a male family friend, ask her out. She said no, rejected him, hurt his pride. What did he do? He threw acid on her. And the reason why people throw acid on women is because they want to disfigure them, potentially kill them, but more importantly, they want them to be alive and to be disfigured so that no one else could ever possibly want them and punish them for rejecting their advances. This girl thankfully didn't die. She started working with organizations and has been speaking on Indian TV about um, how to stop acid attacks and campaigning the Indian government to change their legislation to protect women from this and so that men who do perform these acid attacks and hurt women's lives can be prosecuted and be put in jail. Another topic which is closely related to the gender violence displayed in this Elliot Rogers story, the topic of honor killings. Now, if you don't know what an honor killing is, it generally happens in countries like India, Pakistan, and the Middle East, where if a family thinks that a young woman in their family, she chooses not to marry the man that they've set her up with, they would rather kill her than have shame come upon their family in the community. Sounds ridiculous? 
It's true and we need to talk about it publicly in the media and in government and we need to set up laws that protect women. It's gender-based violence that's targeting women because they're not complying with what someone else is telling them to do. On a positive note, the reason why I love the yes all women hashtag that's been trending is because it's allowing women to talk about this issue, yes, but also it totally reminds me of the why I need feminism campaign. You've all seen the pictures. I'll put a link below so you can check out one of my blog posts where men and women all around the country and all around the world are holding up signs writing reasons why they need feminism. Reasons such as I need feminism because Blurred Lines was the top selling single of 2013. So as women and as feminists, we have a duty to use the platforms that we have. Just like Elliot Rogers, if he can put a video online and talk about how much he hates women, we can do the same. And we can talk about positive stuff and we can talk about important issues that need to be discussed. So I ask you, I urge you to stand with me, use your social media networks and talk about issues that are important. We need to keep the conversation going. So yes to all women, no, not all men are killers. So this is a humanity issue. So let's get back to placing value on womanhood. So leave me your comments and your thoughts below and don't forget to check out the links that I've posted. One of them is about Lakshmi the uh, acid attack victim from India. Another one is a link to information about honor killings, which is a very, very real epidemic that's happening in the Western world. And there's also a link to a blog post I wrote about the Yes All Women hashtag. Here's to all women standing up, using their voices, and hopefully eliminating some of these trends that are happening in society so that the next generation can live in a world where they're equal. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check out girltalkhq.com and I'll be back same time, same bat channel next week.